My name is Marc Laderrière, born and raised in France. I lived in Paso Robles for the last 10 years. I work a lot, you know, less exercise, you know, you paying less attention. And then the, one day you realize, hey, I'm a little tired, what's going on, you know? Also, we noticed that I was sweating very, very little, and I was very susceptible to heat. And I would basically get very, very tired and like hit a wall. After this multiple series of blood tests through the local doctors, we decided to go to Stanford to see what we could do. Mr. Laderier was referred to us really because of the fatigue, but also because his primary care physician noticed that his blood pressure was changing quite a bit. When we examined him in the clinic, a uh, few things were striking. First, his pupillary reaction was not as we expected, and his skin was unusually dry. And we happened to evaluate him here during a very hot day. So he clearly had issues with perspiration. And then we measured his blood pressure again, and we had him lay down for about 10 minutes, stood him up, and there was a persistent drop in his blood pressure. Dr. Girardi pretty much right away felt it probably was something that had to do with the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is the part of the nervous system that controls all the vital functions and the organs that are independent of our own will. For instance, the reason why your heart beats is independent of your will. The range of the autonomic disorders can be fairly wide, as you might expect. The most common problems we find are first problems in patients who cannot stay upright for a while. So sometimes patients present with unexplained arrhythmias where the heart you know, palpitates like crazy. The other presentation usually is the patients who have major digestive issues. Then heat tolerance can be a problem because if somebody cannot sweat, it's very difficult for them to be out in the heat. They can develop heat stroke fairly quickly. Testing these patients requires an integrated approach, which is not available in many areas. During the first meeting, he asked, have you ever been treated for Lyme disease? And I said, absolutely not. So we went through that right away, and of course so we discovered right then that I had Lyme disease for probably five to 10 years. So he wanted me to be on antibiotics to eradicate the different markers of Lyme disease. Now, I do not have any more Lyme disease, but it was clear, however, that I did have an autonomic nervous disorder of sorts. We believe that we found the cause and we're trying to address it. And then we basically worked with him a regimen where we gave him medication that could help him with the sweating function. And in fact, he has noticed some benefit from that. We also started giving him medication that attenuate or completely eliminate, hopefully, the drop in his blood pressure. And we'll watch and see how he does. He definitely has all the information and he deals with, obviously, more difficult cases. I think we probably have stabilized his condition at this point. It seems to be pretty confined and, in fact, a couple of signs may be better. I'm fairly optimistic. I think he will regain more function in the next two years. I feel in good hands, there is no doubt.